Hey you guys, how's it going? Hey, uh, the other day when I was talking to you about my Lenten portraits project, I promised you that I would tell you a little bit about these um, architectural drawings or paintings that I've been doing. This is a, uh, a painting of the Munch Beer Factory, the Munch Brewery. Um, it's called Between the Locks now, so if you're from the area, if you live in Appleton, you're familiar with it. Um, there is a brewery there now, I believe it's the Stone Arch, but what this was for me, um, you know, Tony and I just had our 21 year anniversary. So I was kind of, I've been, I, I have been filming the progress of this thing for a little while. Um, and I've been telling Tony, oh yeah, it's 21 years, we're old enough to drink now. And so this was going to be my anniversary gift to him. Um, and the reason I was going to do that is because Tony and I met in this beer, in this brew pub. We didn't actually meet. Yeah, we did meet there. But we were set up on a blind date. So we had many phone conversations before actually meeting. Um, so we did meet there. That's the first, uh, the, the first day we met. But Tony really likes Appleton history and, and, and old Appleton buildings. And so I thought that I would just paint this building as it looked when it was first built. It looks a little different now. Um, so in this first sketch, I was just trying to work out colors and shades. Tony really likes his space to be more austere. He's more of a minimalist, so he just doesn't like a lot going on in there. Um, so I was trying to work out the colors here. Obviously the colors in this piece are wrong. The trees are I don't know what the trees are, but they are also wrong. Um, but still, it was a good start. In the second piece, obviously, I don't, I don't know why I decided to put this in portrait mode. That is completely wrong for this piece. The trees are bad. And I can see now um, that a, doing a more uh, monochromatic look isn't going to work. Um, yeah, this is just bad all the way around, too. So, I finally worked up the third piece. This is also just a quick little sketch that I did. And I really like it. The colors are about where I want them. Uh, the trees are looking better. I, I have to make a few adjustments. But I think that this is about the route we're going to go. Um, yeah, this looks really nice to me. So I decided to go ahead and start this piece. Um, th this is uh, the, the, the final piece. And as I got almost done with it, you can see now, if you look at the building on the left with the tall spire on it, it looks like it is leaning to the right. It looks like it is about to cave in. And I didn't realize that until I had already gotten this far. So the drawing was bad to begin with. So it's kind of a bummer. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this piece, but I'm going to start a new one so that it doesn't look so wonky. And I know some people probably can't notice that, but to me it sticks out like a sore thumb. You know, the trees in this piece need fixed, so it looks like I will be starting again. Um, a little history on this building. Um, if you look around, you'll see that it was built in 1879, but that is not true. That is when the biggest modifications were made to the building. There was a brewery on this site as early as 1858. Um, a man named Anton Fischer had a brewery there. Then a gentleman named Karl Munch came from Germany. For about seven years he worked at the Schlitz factory, Schlitz factory I think? Um, and then he moved, he was a foreman there and he moved to Appleton to uh, where he met his wife and he bought this factory and made it his own. Now it has since gone through some more structural modifications. It had a fire, they added a beer garden, and the deck that's out there now. So if you're ever in Appleton, go check out the Stone Arch, um, see a beautiful building, learn some history. And I will show you guys this piece when the real one, the better one, gets done. Hey, thanks for listening, you guys.